What's up, family? How you guys doing today? I'm here with Milky Tech, and today we are going to do a review on this HB Pavilion 16-inch laptop that was refreshed this year. Let's get this done. I've been using this laptop for a few months now and this is what I think about it. And before we continue with this review, if you guys enjoy this content, smash that like and hit subscribe. It helps the algorithm and helps the channel. And if you guys want to see the unboxing for this laptop, the link will be right here. Did this laptop got better from the last generation? So let's take a look at that. So first let's look at the build quality. The top is aluminum and the bottom is made out of plastic, which isn't too bad. There isn't much flex to the body and the bezels are on the screen. Isn't that bad? It's decently thin on the three corners and a little bit thick on the bottom but that's not too bad and the hinge isn't too bad it goes across the whole laptop and it's pretty good however you can't open the laptop with one hand you'd have to hold the base and then open up the lid the tear down of this laptop so we have a couple of screws over here that we have to remove just take this guy off we got a couple more over here that we gotta remove and let's take off some screws so far the disassembly is pretty easy A thinner bit for the two front screws. Right, here we go. All right, so now let's grab a little plastic pry tool, shove it in here. And then now we get it all out, and it comes out. Whew, that was clipped on pretty hard. All right, so let's look at the upgradability of this laptop. Looks like we could upgrade the RAM. If we need to add more RAM, you can do that. Here's our NVMe slot. Here's where our CPU is. Of course, that's soldered on. You can't upgrade that. Here's our Wi-Fi. So whenever they change the Wi-Fi standard, you can always upgrade that as well. Our battery, if that goes out, you can always replace it. All right. I like that this laptop is upgradable. I don't see a slot to put like a mechanical hard drive in here. So it looks like we are only stuck with a single NVMe drive. Yeah, I don't see any other slots here. I really like the typing quality on this laptop. The keyboard isn't too bad. It's decently clicky. It's not like a mechanical keyboard. I, I can see myself or anybody typing on it for a while, and especially if you do it easier for like homework or for work, it will be perfect for you. The keyboard is also backlit, so in a dim environment or a no light environment, you can still get your work done. The trackpad from last year is a lot bigger. I'd say almost twice the size, which is I love that. I just wasn't feeling a small little track pack from last year. I'm really liking this upgrade to the laptop. It is nice and smooth. It's not glass, but hey, it is great. An improvement from last year, this laptop was almost half a pound lighter. And for portability, this makes it fantastic. This laptop has a great 1080p IPS display at 215 nits. I wish that the display was a little bit brighter, especially you know, if you want to use it in an outdoor situation, 250 nits won't really cut it. You need a higher nit display. But the picture quality on the display is great. The next thing we want to look at is the sound quality from the speakers, and they're not bad. I've had more expensive laptops with worse speaker quality. So, and it's pretty great. I wish they were front facing speakers. The speakers are down facing and out, but they provide a decent quality sound that if you're trying to enjoy a nice movie or TV show, you'll definitely enjoy it. And the webcam and mic quality is such, it's, 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 it's there. I wish it was better, but uh, it gets the job done. And hey, I guess that's all we needed to do, get the job done. So let's do another handoff where we're gonna go from my current setup to the laptop setup and test the microphone quality and speaker as you guys can see it's it's all right i mean it gets the job done it's not the highest quality but it gets the job done so let's go over the specs of this laptop this laptop has the 11th gen i7 1156g it has 16 gigs of ddr4 ram running at 3200 megahertz you got the intel iris graphics Wi-Fi 6 with Bluetooth 5.0, a nice full keyboard that is backlit, and you have BNO speakers. So let's go over the ports that this laptop have. On the unboxing, I thought the Type-C port was a Thunderbolt port. However, it is not a Thunderbolt 
port. It is a 10 gigabits per second port, but it also provides charging. So if you were to forget your laptop charger, you could charge it through the USB Type-C port, which is convenient. I wish they could just get rid of the other port and just make it a USB Type-C and bring Thunderbolt, but hey. So we have one Type-C port at 10 gigabits per second, two USB Type-A ports at five gigabits per second, an HDMI 2.0, micro SD, I wish it was a full SD slot, and a combo headphone jack. And the laptop is not that noisy. Right now the fans are running pretty hard and it's not bad. Okay, let's bring the mic close to it. It is very tolerable and not annoying, which is great. So let's look at some benchmark results. I ran through the mark time spy and we got a score of 1146. So that quarter to the estimated game performance. If you're trying to run Battlefield 5, you should get around 30 frames per second at high settings. So if you lower that settings a little bit, you should get very playable frame rates, which is awesome. I also ran PC Mark 10 and I got a score of 3630. Overall, I am happy with this laptop. It does everything that I needed to do. Whatever I throw at it, it does. I can edit my videos on it. I can play some light gaming on it. It's not like playing on the custom build behind me that I built, but you know, you're out and you want to play a game, you could do it. The better life is, you know, they claim eight, eight and a half hours. I'm getting four, five and a half hours, you know. So maybe six hours on a good day and that's probably because of the settings that i put it at because i want the screen to be as bright as possible and the performance to be all the way so that's probably why it's hindering it so much but four hours at max performance i think that's not that bad it has a nice amount of ports i do wish you know they would get rid of the proprietary charging port and just have it a type c port that's something that i prefer i do wish that the bezels were you know, a little bit thinner. I like that it is a touchscreen display. I like the display quality. For watching movies, it has the perfect aspect ratio. So if you do a lot of media consumption, the beast right here, it's a beast. Overall, I'm impressed with this laptop. Few things, I wish I had a better webcam, wish I had a better microphone, I wish I had front facing speakers, and I wish they would get to the proprietary charging port and put it as a USB Type-C. This way, you know, one port to charge them all. And guys, our giveaway is over. Now it's time to tabulate everything and find out who won and make sure to stay tuned next week on my Instagram on my TikTok and on YouTube to find out who won and may the odds be in your favor. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like, hit subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified when I release my next video. If you guys have a question, a comment or want to say hello, drop it in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.